everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog. I just legit woke up from a power nap. Nick and I have been filming all day long. Sorry, I exhausted her. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. But you know what? It's a whole different type of mindset. So I'm actually up now, I'm ready, I feel really good. I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm filming maybe one or two more videos with Nick. Nick, stay for dinner, please. Okay. Thank well. you so much. We're gonna have pasta italiano. And then I wanna actually talk about tomorrow. So into, well, and actually tomorrow's, in today's video, which is gonna be between tonight and tomorrow, um, I'm gonna go into dental. It's gonna be the truth of Dr. Nina Gray, the highs, the lows, the real your lows, the scary points, the pressure points, the stressful, and the happy life of Dr. Nina Gray. I know I've shown you guys videos before of me as a dentist. I'm really going even further and deeper into this. As you know, for all of us, it's so important to get a good night's sleep. Usually I don't take a power nap, but today I really needed it. I started at the gym early in the morning and then we did a lot of videos and I just thought it would be a good pick me up and I feel great. I feel so refreshed. I'm ready to make dinner, do more videos with Nick. And also, as you guys know, a good night's sleep is so important. Most of us need at least eight hours. Sometimes I need nine or 10, believe it or not. It is imperative that I get at least eight hours of sleep before I go into surgery the next day. And that's why I wanna thank Shut Eye for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've been using Shut Eye for the past few weeks and I have gotten the best night's sleep. And also, I realized that, for example, I listen to Ocean Waves, which I did right now during my nap, and that really helps soothe me and it helps me fall asleep sooner and it helps me wake up gradually. So there's many different things that you can listen to. You can listen to books, you can listen to Ocean Waves as I do nature, anything that you like. There's different varieties for anything that your heart desires. Okay, so let's get into the app. So basically, I took a power nap from 7.46 p.m. till 8.49 p.m., which was a 48-minute nap. Um, I'm showing you the graph here of when I was awake, which is green, and slowly I went to light sleep, then a deep sleep, deep, deep, deep sleep, and started going to light sleep. And again, once I started waking up, when Nick and Blair started making noises. Okay, we were doing story time. So what I also really like, so you can have the app listen to you while you're sleeping, but you can opt in or opt out. So during my nap, I decided to opt in. So basically he told me that I was sleep talking. Wait, how many, how many things did it pick up on? Uh, a lot. <laughs> And I listened to it, and I'm just not going to share that for everyone's sanity, okay? So I know that I snore. I've been told that I snore, and I, I, I know that I do, and I need to get it corrected. Okay, so then you actually go down to where it really specifies it. So it says, talk and sleep. There were six clips of me talking in my sleep. Coughing, I coughed one clip. And noises, there were 15 clips. I am so happy because now I've actually taken steps to correct my problems. For example, for my snoring, I've actually ordered a humidifier that's coming soon. So that's going to help relieve some of that. Before going to bed, I actually do a little bit of light yoga for about five to 10 minutes and actually try to relax my mind so I don't talk as much in my sleep. So thank you so much, Shadai, for sponsoring this video. And everybody, make sure you check the link in the description box below. For the first three people who sign up, you get the first month free. And for everyone else after, you get 50 free off the first month. So make sure you use Shut Eye, get your good night's sleep, and have a beautiful next day. I'll see y'all in the morning. Hi everybody, it is the next morning. I want to thank Shut Eye for like an amazing night's sleep. I listened to ocean waves all night long. I slept so well. I feel so refreshed, no bags under my eyes. I feel so, so, so good. So thank you once again, Shut Eye, for helping me get my best night's sleep. I am so prepared, so excited for today. We're gonna have a lot of patience and with my amazing night's sleep, I think I slept maybe even nine hours. I feel so good. So without further ado, let's get to the office. I'm already ready. Oh my God, I think got up and did 35 minutes on the bike before work. When does that ever happen? All right, guys, let me take that off while I'm talking. Okay, so today has been crazy. I'm gonna go into the story of what the events that took place in the morning already. A lot of... <laughs> Um, and this video is literally like true life events of Dr. Nina. I'm going to show you guys the good glory and the whole everything. All right. So my boss's nephew is actually here. Say hi to the camera, Shannon. Hi. He's slightly traumatized already because as I walk in a room, I scare my patients, right? <laughs> a little, a little. Okay. So he's here today for removal of four wisdom teeth. I usually, I used to, when I own my own offices, I used to actually have surgery days where I would remove them. This is upper right number one. That's going to be easy. Upper left, number 16, easy. Number 17 is partially impacted. Um, I think it's at a good angle that hopefully I'll be able to get out, get it whole. If not, I'll partition it here and take it out in two pieces. 
This is number 32, lower right. Again, not impacted, rotated a little bit, but I think it should be easy. We'll also do a light scale. And he has a couple of cavities, which we'll do. Usually I don't treat patients of this age, but I make exceptions for family and friends. And I'm actually really good at oral surgery. So let's see my skills today. First, we're gonna numb and then we'll go from there. I'm like, a sweat is running down my back. You? You? How about the patient? How about you? You have sweat running down your back? He's doing <laughs> good. Oh, we're gonna tag. He wants to be tagged. He wants to be on all social media for all the trauma and the drama he went through. Please leave five star reviews and not one star reviews. So everything <laughs> finally knows. Amy, can you go show them the x-rays of how clean everything looks? Everything came out. This one, number 17, gave us hell, but we did it. Thank you, patient, for being the best. You're a trooper. Okay, guys, so we're in the process of giving the anesthetic. Our patient's doing really, really, really well. I'm numbing the upper right quadrant right now. I'm about to go to the top left quadrant. So we're going to go ahead and anesthetize. And, um, you know, once he's numb, we'll start the filling. So let's see, we're going to go right here and always pull your tissue over the needle so the patient feels less. For oral surgery, we are going to numb the palate. And I'll show you guys how we numb that in just a second. Deep breath, Shannon, deep breath. You're doing really, really, really good. Excellent. Go ahead and suction a little bit of one. So this is how we numb the palate is we're going to put a mirror. Deep breath, deep breath. That also puts a little bit of pressure so the patient feels as little as possible because it's a difficult, tough injection right there. Good job. Let's go ahead and suction again. Now on the lower, I'm going to go ahead and start with a smaller needle. Deep breath. I'm going to go ahead and again, shake the tissue right over so the patient feels as little as possible. We're going to give a little anesthesia. Go ahead and close down just a little bit. Relax, relax, relax. Again, tissue over the needle. So usually what I do is I give a little bit of a little small anesthetic with a smaller needle, let them get numb, and then go in with the larger one so they don't feel so much. Can I get some septic pain, please, Tom? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and start with, by removing tooth number one. Um, I'm not sure if I love any of these elevators, guys. This is too thick. This is too thin. Can I get something in the middle? Do you see that? Give me something in the middle. I'll start loosening up with this, though. Okay, Jenny, you're going to go ahead and start feeling some pressure. So we're going to start loosening up the lingual a little bit. Loosening up the buckle a little bit. And then can I get the east and west so I can get the, the distal? I think it seems like you're numb, you're just feeling the pressure, okay? Let's go ahead and come in suction, Miss Roxanne. Am I your way? Can you get that around you? No, I can get it around you. This is our boss's nephew. Oh. Hi, boss's nephew, I'm Roxanne. That's Roxanne. Oh. Breathe, good, breathe. That's how you do. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Keep breath, suction down there. Good job. Put your chin up for me. Your teeth are strong. You're giving me a run for my money today, sir. Give me my light, you guys. I can't see a thing. Perfect. And that's how good that's we are. Woo! What do you think, Dr. Foster? Mm -hmm. That's just water. That's just water, sweetheart. That's good. It's going to feel really cold. Do I still have a job on Monday? You know, you know when I was in the Navy, yeah. I took a molar. This was all the way out of a Samoan. You know the Samoan people. You talking about yeah. thick bone? Yeah. Samoan. It was. I had the, the whole root was used to bone. He was Samoan, but Samoan people have very thick bone. Strong. Bones. Some patients very have, thick. and I told them ahead of time. I know your tooth is going to give me trouble. So, but his teeth are okay. Suction back there, please. You guys. So that one came out. And how many seconds did that take to come out? Three five. Thank you, Doctor. Three Mark. five. Three five. Three five. It's like 30 minutes later. Okay, yeah. So this is tooth number 32. You see, and we have gingival inflammation around here. So we're just going to start loosening up a little bit around the gum. How are you feeling with that patient? Good? Mm -hmm. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Raise your left hand if you feel pain or discomfort. You good? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's good on the bottom. Just remember that like when the tooth does come out, um, you're going to feel a lot of pressure. Let me get in here. Good. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's start loosening up. I'm going to go ahead and hold your chin. Actually, let me open you up just a little bit more. Good. Just gently on that one. Suction right there, Roxanne, so I can see. Mm. 
This one's a little stronger than the other one. Is so it moving? Got it. No. It's moving a little bit, doctor. Relax, 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 open them up a little bit. There we go. Good job. We got it. Number two. Let me make sure nothing's packed down there. Well, can't for the next one, can you get the surgical sections? Of course. So usually we do tend to need to use the surgical. I need surgical sections right there, make sure everything's good. Yeah, one second. Usually for surgeries, we do need surgical sections, but because yeah. we do pediatric here, yeah, you know, it's not like our number one thing. Mm -hmm. You okay, man? Uh-huh. Go in there. Let me make sure I got everything out. Right in there, right in there. Can you go in there? It's a really good card, though. To me, everything looks like it's out, but I'm going to take an extra of that one just to make sure, guys. Let's do it size. How are you doing, Tasha? Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's going to be really easy. Are oh, you doing the top one? I'm going to do this one. Meanwhile, 10 hours later. <laughs> okay, for this one, let me see. I'm going to start on this side, loosening up the tissue a little bit. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to try to go in. Oh, your teeth are strong, dude. You didn't tell me I had to do weights before, the night before. <laughs> Give me my other elevator. This one's not good at luxating. The other one? Yeah, perfect. Chin up a little, huh? Move my light, guys, so I can see. No, his teeth are strong. Okay, that's the first opening. Here we go. Oh, forceps? No, thank you. By the time you get the forceps, it's done. Nice. How many seconds for that one? And look, it came out three all five. Five. Three or five. We're gonna three or five. On no. No, but look, look at the roots. Difficult, yeah. right? And look at the look at it. Look at what I did it with. That's a small one. I'm not even equipped with the yeah. right stuff. No, it's just because you guys we do pediatric here. We're for yeah, family and friends here and there. Section yeah. back there for me. Family and friends here. Family and friends <laughs> specialty. <laughs> Get all that back there. Here. Give me my little one. So now, Matt. You see where he has those tori at the bottom? Have you ever removed any of those? Which I've done those before. Tori, look have on the you bottom. done those? Oh, yeah, that's not that. mandibular. You I've done mandibular. Yeah, what doctor's talking about those. these? They're it's called cool. mandibular tori. Yes. Yeah, it's too late to do Huh? What the guy was getting a denture. Oh, for the denture yeah, only, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah, no, I wouldn't. Oh, my God. No, I wouldn't take them out. He's going to pull out all your teeth, give you a denture. <laughs> Not today. We're just doing the whistle. Another day, maybe. Another day. Put your chin down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, guys, let's go to the last one. Suction right there for me, please. This is the one that is to be the most difficult out of everything, but let's but see. Sometimes it's the easiest when you sometimes think it's Sometimes it's the easiest. Let's see. So far, it seems the easiest. Like, if you see it move, you're good to go. Relax, relax, baby. You're tensing, you're tensing. You're tensing, yeah. Relax a little. As long as you're not feeling pain, pressure is normal. Oh, this is a tough one. You should have brought some AirPods or some earphones. That helps me. Okay, give me a different elevator because this one's going to break. No, I know I'm going to break it. I feel I'm going to break it. So this is the issue with this, you guys. is because the tooth, you see this one, is luxated under that one. I can easily remove it, but the problem is, do I, does it have the room to come out? There you go. And right. that's the dilemma. I'm going to have to section it, doctor. Mm. You see what I'm going to do with this one? No, no, no. I'm going to cut right here, make room, then let's set it up. Do you see what I'm saying? Because it won't come up right there. Uh -huh. Because it doesn't have enough room. Let me tell you why. 
See, I'm moving it, but it won't come up because that whole thing, yeah. it's a stuck underneath it. You're gonna need to get a surgical 557. Um, all right, you guys, so this is serious sort of dentistry. It's not that easy. Tooth number 116.32, I removed easily. There's nothing left there. We took post-op extras. It's fine, this is it. This is, you get blood and guts everywhere. So we have, on the one that was impacted, I have a small root tip left. I'm gonna go in there and get that out. So this is serious dentistry. This is like no fun and games. Like we're seriously doing the dentistry. You have to be able to be directed. You have to be able to not panic and get in there and finish the job, right? Mm -hmm. If you plan it or if it's too much for you, this is not this is not for you. I see it right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a little insertion right there. So hopefully that's helping you guys help me let me know. I'm gonna open up the area a little bit more with a scalpel to get in there. Amy, when I had my own office, I used to do days of OS. No. Day, yeah. I don't have Okay, we don't like OSP, she says. It makes me hungry. Oh, oh my God. Okay, head up a little bit more there. Suction right in there so we can locate the root again. This was the one that gave me gave me the most trouble. So I had to section it oh, right it's here. It's, oh, it's horizontal. It is. Oh, it's semi-horizontal though, doctor. You know, yeah. I thought that, not completely. not completely, but I had to section it here, right. then broke the crown off right here, then sectioned it, I believe around here, then this was what was remaining. Section that one and remove that. So it's all out. Everything's good. Patient did really well. They're giving me post-op instructions and prescriptions now. Now I'm gonna go take a long lunch and not come back to work. <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> oh my God, you guys. After finishing my oh God, surgery, God. oh my God, no. <laughs> we're going for lunch. We're going, I don't get any bad angles. Oh my God, no, don't go crazy. What happened? We gotta put this. We're driving my new car, which is a surprise. We'll tell you guys later. But anyways, we're headed to lunch. This oral surgery staff is going to lunch. Oh, you guys, we're about to start treatment on a five-year-old patient. I think he's going to cry. He's not going to be too happy. We already informed him of we're doing the best. My assistant's calming him down. She's very good with calming. Juan is applying topical. We're about to anesthetize. So let's get into it. Okay. Oh, please, Take a deep breath, my love. Take a deep breath. the mouth so we're doing some pulpotomies we let baby root canals and crowns and um, we're gonna give him okay beautiful I think I have a pen somewhere oh I found it I found it what honey no no bite on that one well, yeah just make sure he's biting on that the whole time okay so right now we're signing some prescriptions we're gonna send him home with some moxicillin and ibuprofen post treatment so he does not have any issues because also he does have some infection in the mouth okay he's doing really good juan is just managing right now make sure he does not bite himself by his lips or anything okay. of this sort um right. i'm gonna leave juan in the room with him i'm gonna head out for just a second uh and i'll be right back let's count good job papa you're doing a great job good job Good. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the camera in the middle of the ring. Okay, just a little bit of happy. Right, good job. Just a little more. You're doing great. Look how deeper you know. Good job, don't move. Don't move your legs. Good job, wow. 
Yes, yeah, Papa. She's definitely going to get his other toy as well. Oh, yes. Okay, ready with irrigation? Maybe have a little bit of this because you're filming off a little bit. Good job. Good job, Papa. Good job. Give me one more cut and we'll see if that's done. Okay. Just a quick look up. You're doing really, really good, okay? This is a great example. This is a great example of a patient who is really nervous, apprehensive, and crying and moving. And now he's calm because he realizes he's not hurting and everything's okay. So we're doing great. We're actually almost done. Good job. Okay, so we see? Since you're helping us, you're going to be done really fast. Okay, you have charges for me, okay? Let's get some stuff. Okay, I have some right here. Upper? Mm -hmm. No, lower. Lower? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put a little blanket in your mouth.